What is going on, guys? Wiser here coming to the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a arranged match up versus King Jeffrey, uh, friendly clan challenge. <clears throat> so, actually, uh, I'm a little short on time, it's pretty late. I gotta get up super early, so um, but unfortunately, because I'm confined to the 24 hour and friendly challenge uh, replay lifetime uh, I'm trying to sneak this in now before it uh, before I lose it uh, I'm just gonna show probably three or four attacks here let's jump on over and check out what happened 80 to 76 King Jeffrey really nice job guys uh, came away with the victory here <clears throat> basically came down to um, the success of the Town Hall 11 bullies um, we only had a few they had a few more um, You'll see down at the bottom, man, poor Hoodie. <laughs> hoodie, uh, hoodie kind of goofed on the on the roster. So we ended up um, leaving their Town Hall 9 there uh, unattacked. And I believe he wasn't allowed to use his attacks. And Ice there uh, was unattacked. And I don't believe he used his hits either. Yeah, both missed two attacks. <clears throat> Anyhow... <laughs> It's all right, Hoodie. We forgive you. That's like your first mistake in ever. <laughs> so it's all good, buddy. Um, and look all the way down. They did have to use a few bullies to clean up the nines, but like I said, really, an idea, it really just came down to the uh, eleven versus ten play. Uh, I believe everything got secured. The, uh, the town eleven wise by the town tens. Nina, Jacob, Justin, yeah. Uh, so overall, uh, what can I say? Let's uh, let's just jump in and get this uh, done. Watch a few of these sexy attacks. We're gonna start down here with a couple of town hall mines. I believe this was McGrady. Yeah, <clears throat> I like this one. Four witches. Yes, witches are back. I love it. Uh, not a hundred percent why uh, McGrady chose witches on this base, but uh, I'm sure he's gonna tell me at some point. <clears throat> nice little stone entry there, all three golems nice and tight, getting the funnel created on either side. Basically just getting all from uh, 9 to 6 there, taken care of and out of the way. Then he's going to go ahead and just jump right on in. I believe double jump is going to go down. Uh, let it, these three golems into such a huge chunk of base. And there's not a lot of meat inside there, as Kadic would say. Really, every every building is a defense, so the golems are just going to walk tic-tac-toe through this core using those double jumps and just absolutely smash everything. So one witch does walk and actually kind of works out because she's sort of doing cleanup over there. Grady has his archer for the builder's hut in the corner, of course. Always mind your huts. But I love this little uh, healer trick also on the hound there. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but just yank that out. A couple archers and a healer. Dealing with that, I believe a burst at the very end because all the troops are eventually going to meet up around this town hall over here. Um, but uh, as you can see, there's only really a cannon, uh, air defense, and a mortar, which is about to go down. <clears throat> and there's no defenses to go, so it's only a matter of time at this point. Queen's going to step up. Unfortunately, gets peed down by that cannon, but it's got two balloons going in. Bunch of skeletons from those witches. Really nice job uh, getting the value. Still has three witches alive. Just tons of skeletons ripping through this base. Um, you know, the hound burst there, but far, far, far too late. So really nice job treating the bag for McG. <clears throat> the Great Patino. Bringing a little stoned, uh, stoned Lalo here. Um, loving it, actually, because uh, I love how he decided to bring the three golems knowing. Basically, basically what Grady knew is that this double jump is going to allow so much tanking. You're, you're essentially, um, and, and like just like the last base, that is the only high hit point structure actually inside the base. So once you get troops in in there, right? It, it, there's the, again, like the, the only way to describe it is there's not a lot of meat inside the base to hold up those bowlers and hold up that queen. Um, you know, it doesn't even really have to rage on the entry, and he's just getting great values. Finally, does drop that rage, gets things just moving nice and quickly. Poison on the clan castle um, does have a long distance. See, the other thing too is this arch queen is 
I'm going to hop into this Wizard Tower compartment. So both those jumps are connecting everything, right? The Queen, all four air defenses. It's already got three air defenses. So finally decides to go ahead and commence with the air. So there's only one air defense to go. Loons in, a couple on each defense, all coming in from the outside. <clears throat> nice job there. No spells for the balloons, unfortunately. So he does uh, does lose those couple he dropped up there to that whiz tower, but reinforces with a couple more. They will get it for sure. Just needs to work over to this uh, over to this air defense. Right, King gets held up there. Both held up on walls, unfortunately, at this point. But the air defense does indeed go down. Fortunately, that defensive queen is still alive, but hits that king ability. He's going to beat on in there, smack her down, bam, bam, down she goes. Loons moving in, take care of those last few defenses. Just needs to clean up with some heroes. Even as a cleanup balloon, I believe he jumps up here right on the town hall. Nice job, Pit. Very sexy attack. Boom. Tree stars. Um, KP. Like this one, this is just basically a standard shattered uh, shattered bowl aloe. Goes ahead and drops golem number one. Golem number two goes in. Getting this funnel created on either side. Baby D uh, over at the nine o'clock section there. Gonna take that whiz power forever to take care of that baby D. <clears throat> but gonna, the idea here is just wants to bust open this wall. So they a wall breaker go in there. Nice little test, no big deal. The rest are in. Wall gets open on up. He's going to go ahead and jump over basically just above this town hall compartment, um, give access to the queen and access to all three of these air defense. So with two lava hounds and, uh, you know, 13, 14, 13 balloons uh, coming in from the three o'clock here, uh, looking really good as long as this kill squad can get the push. For, it needs to get in and get these air defense taken care of, get this defensive queen taken care of. So down goes the defensive queen. See you later. Even get an expo on the way there. Has to hit that queen ability, but perfect. Finishes off the expo. Finishes off the second air defense. So JP nice and early just gets his ha uh, gets his loons going in. Really just tries to protect the kill squad with the air portion of the raid here. Luckily he kind of does. I think the queen would have. Yeah, the queen's killing the air defense right now. Um, so it would have been a matter of time, but it's uh, getting getting the the balloons in quickly, taking care of some of those buildings. Um, was pretty important. So goes ahead and drops uh, four more balloons just below the three o'clock section there. No spells left, but doesn't matter. The only really can is just needs to work their way on over to the air defense. As his queen doing clean up on the other side. Nice little archer for that corner builder shot too. Just a matter of time now at this point. A lot of pups too with me on the map. <clears throat> Three stars in the bag. That a boy JP. <clears throat> and we did actually have one 10v10 triple this war. So let's check this out. I believe this was Alpha, good old KB. Bring in the 21 Hogs. I was liking it. It's not an easy feat, um, but you know, with the level two and level one Inferno Towers, uh, we're finding really that um, those are the most realistic bases if you're gonna have your tens. Obviously, there. I mean, I mean that's just the obvious. <laughs> lower, lower defense down all tens. The more likely your ten should be able to three star it. So uh, that's kind of how we look at it when assigning bases. I mean, really specifically the infernos and uh, expos uh, have a huge, huge DPS spike when they get to level three and level four expos. It's uh, it can get pretty ugly at the town hall ten versus ten level. I was just talking about in the last episode. I really do hope they do a little, uh, little balancing work very soon, because uh, I know a lot of guys are getting really frustrated and uh, don't want to get too much into that again. But uh, hopefully Christmas we see something, uh, something nice change. Just at least so, so something different. I mean, I hate to say it, as sad as as sad as the mass spam miners were. I think the game was in a better state then than it is now because it, I, I still at least feel at the, the, when the game was at that state, you know, you'd get a fair amount of 10, town hall 10 versus 10 trips with town hall 11 doing some bullies to clean them up and then having some town hall 11 versus 11 trips. Um, 
but it was it, there was no diversity to the attack so um it was just i don't know it's i get it it's a tough game it's not it's not there's tough game balancing i should say and uh <clears throat> I, I can't, I don't have any direct answer. So I can just hope that, you know, hope for the best and look forward to the next change because at Battle 10, man, it is frustrating, but not so frustrating for KB because when you finally do come away with a nice little triple like this one, it is so freaking satisfied. Look at all the hogs he has left. Absolutely beautiful. Kick backs. What up? Nice job, buddy. All right, so like I was saying earlier, uh, it's pretty late, so I do want to kind of call this tonight, but uh, really nice job, King Jeffrey. Grats on the win. Uh, and until next time, guys, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help the beg that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.